Okay, so you guys are going to rest for the day and then get supplies. Did you figure out what you needed? Yep. Yeah, we need a wand of disintegrate. Okay. Uh, Cassia, is that within your realm of possibilities? Not in the time frame that we have. How long does it take to make a wand? To make a wand to disintegrate, it would take me four days. Oh, okay. But you can cast a spell from the scroll without any difficulty. Yep. Okay, um, so you guys rest, get your supplies. How long do you need to be ready to go? Hope less than three days, because it would be nice to storm the castle with her down still. Well, there's no point in storming the castle while she's awake. Taking on the Sentinels and the Davis alone uh, is pretty much suicide. Doing it while fighting the Lady of Pain isn't even worth playing out. Well, you never know. We could triple crit. Yep. Well, you'll find out when you get there. <laughs> So uh, Darkwell is willing to get you in um, and give you intel on uh, the palace. Are you ready to do that the following day? How much will it cost us to get a wand of disintegrate? No, uh, that is gonna... a good question. You only need five charges, right? Well, I don't feel comfortable going in with less than ten. Okay, well, you can get whatever level you want. I want backups on backups for this situation. No, that's a good idea. You might want pass wall, too. That's another one I can't replicate at will. Pass wall. Pass wall is uh, useless for in general. Um, we needed to get through the uh, prismatics. Wall. Oh, you needed to get through Prismatic Wall, okay. I meant the actual spell pass wall. The defenses are built to block it, so. That was one of the uh, first lessons as a DM I learned. Make sure you always put at least a wall of iron in the middle of any wall you don't want pass wall to go through. Put them out through metal harder. Well, at least in second edition, Passwall only went through stone. And uh, I had an adventure I was doing with Sheehan, and he had the ability to cast Passwall, and he basically walked up to the wall, put a hole in it, and went through. And I was like, okay, well, you just bypassed half the adventure. Okay, so... Disintegrate is a 6th level spell. A wand with 20 charges would be 59 grand. 59.4. Right off the magic cost table. How much money did we get from the last session? Have we sold any of that stuff yet? You have not. Well, we might as well sell all of our stuff while we're buying up magic items too you finished the treasure auto i finished it i didn't add it all together give me a minute okay anything else you need to prep before you head in I posted the map of the uh, palace in Discord. I can stick it in there again for you guys. How much is a true resurrection? 
a true resurrection like scroll that would be pricey no i mean uh is the true resurrection the one that you just need a piece of flesh no true resurrection is anything it's the ninth oh, level okay. one resurrection is just you need a piece that's what uh abigail cast on odo's dust okay i'm thinking we might want to uh leave a piece of ourselves at the church of tear just in case this goes south <laughs> and a bunch of money <laughs> just have an auto res point sure that seems reasonable well, you guys can't return to the Church of Tear. They already told you that when the lady spawns, um, they're obligated to turn you over. So, Yeah, well, she's not spawned anymore. Though we can go over to, uh, what's his name? Um, uh, Agato. Go to the ruined Church of Septimus? Yep. But they wouldn't even res one of their followers? The Church of Tear? They would resurrect one of their followers. It's not that. It's that they are an axiomatic uh, church. And as soon as she raises, you are criminals. And uh, they are not going to break the law. Whereas the Church of Septimus is exalted. So while they do not go out of their way to break the law, they place goodness before uh, order. That's fair. Okay, the um, Church of Septimus is definitely somewhere you can go to seek a sanctuary. We are selling the book of Dex plus three, right? Yeah, it's a lot of money. I have my wish I was here. How much money you got on you, Jesse? 20, or no, I have 51k. Well, I got a deal for you. I mean, <laughs> I will definitely do that, because I think having a 30 dex would be wonderful going into this place. I'm 27 dex right now, plus it'll 3 take, to that. It'll take you four days of study, so you, that's not going to happen, Jesse. Oh, it takes four days of study? Okay, never mind. So, so do you not want to buy it? I, uh, I can't have it today, so sell it. So it's either we're going to be dead in three days, or if we're not dead, then I don't know. Then I'll take four days and not get it done before the next time she spawns. Regardless, if we're not dead in three days, I will be very shocked. So, so you guys can sell it to get some gear. No, we're not solving a plus three book of dexterity. <laughs> we were just doing that to bust your chops. If oh. you don't want it, I want it, and I don't even need it. Oh, I definitely want it. It's a matter of, uh, it's a matter of if we're gonna survive. Yeah, you want to die with a bag of gold or with a plus three dex book in your hand? True, true, true. Sure, split this 51k between you guys. Yeah, I don't think Joe actually presented his deal. Joe, what's your... Oh, you just pay for the half, the 41,250. Okay. Okay, so you can half off and we're getting it at our normal price. Okay, there you go. I give you, I give you the gold. Okay, and I take the book. That should have been the easiest decision of your life. Would these hounds come with us to fight? 
I'll be right back. I have an Amazon package here. Um, they might be willing to um aid you, but they would be useless. None of them could withstand a single round of attacks. They would probably have a bitch of a time hitting her, and uh, it'd be mostly futile. Um, that legend lore that we were doing, Naomi, can you still do that every day? Um, yeah, it's just an infusion to make. Sorry, I missed what you said. Would the hounds join us? The hounds would join you, but they would be basically useless. It's, it's cannon fodder. It is technically cannon fodder, but you might not want to uh, send uh, angels into battle as cannon fodder. That's true, that's true. The weakest person in the party is Pa, and he has like 20 more hit points than they do, and he doesn't go within attack range. Assuming our snake lady isn't coming with us as well. Uh, yeah, she could technically come with you, but I don't think she's of any use. Fair. Yeah, she's kind of... We've kind of surpassed her. Well, it's not so much that you surpassed her, it's that her primary ability is spellcasting, and she's got next to no chance of overcoming uh, Chalva's uh, spell resistance. That's fair. I think that was another factor for the polymorph is I don't think that um, Kessia had much of a chance of beating her spell resistance. And for some reason I just forgot about that. How long do you need to prepare all the stuff to go into the palace? I assume you're talking to Naomi. Yes and no. The party in general. Um, uh, well, all that I need to do is go find the wand. I make the pointy end of my stick go bigger to go sharper. That's all I need. Um, if you guys are worried about resurrections, I can make, in the time we have, four scrolls of resurrection we would just have to obviously front the 10,000 gold pieces each it's useful um do we have someone to cast haste today um i can cast a swift haste on myself i can make an item to make haste real right, easy yeah, in memory right then um, Pa can cast haste, since no teleports means Akasha's gonna have to actually walk today. Yeah, my, uh, blink dog's not gonna be a great flanker either. As stated, the palace is the absolute worst place to fight the Lady of Pain. Um... So how much is it? Ten thousand for a resurrection? Um, I think it's five thousand. I lowered the gouge on it. Okay. Um, I do want to go study bark skin. I learned this. Let's go study bark skin before we go. Would the 
Jesse, Temple of Tear Cup. What? Just to let you know, the book, yes, it takes four days, but it's four days over seven days. So you can get a little now and a little later. So if we survive this fight, you will have the plus three if we fight her again. That's true. Okay, then I'll just start reading the book. Uh, so will Agata take a piece of my flesh and resurrect me? And if he hears that uh, the Lady of Pain or we died assaulting the whatever? No. Um, when you guys arrive at the Church of Septimus, uh, miraculously, quite literally, uh, the church is completely restored, uh, but Agato is no longer there. Oh. Uh, uh, I ask around, where did Agato go? He has ascended. Oh. Oh. Who's the high clerk now? That is a good, cho good, good question. I don't think I figured that out. So he's ascended. He's become a god now, or demigod? Uh, well, he's just ascended to Celestia. I said that um, early on when you guys first met him, which was like a day after you came into uh, what you call it, Sigil. Um, that it was fairly hard to find high level clerics. By the time you get to about twentieth level, um they start ascending to their chosen plane because they have a divine connection with their god and they go in their mortal stat status, which allows them to uh, come and go as they please, versus uh, when they actually die and respawn as a soul. Oh, okay. So if essentially when... Um, divine uh, characters ascend they become immortal in a mortal sort of way instead of a celestial way it's good to know good to know is there anyone who can cast the resurrection spell here uh, yes, there's definitely somebody here who can cast it. I was just looking around the grounds to see if there was someone specific I had already uh, denoted. I'm going to have to go look up who the second-in-command is. It's never come up in the whole game, so I don't know off the top of my head. So, can you uh, can you do legend lore every day while doing all your other stuff, Naomi? Yep, I definitely can do that. It only takes me an hour to start making items. So we need to decide what scrolls you want me to prepare, essentially, for the fight. Um, I can do the cone of cold. Uh, I even I think I even have a magic missile wand, so I don't think that's going to be an issue. Though I can even cast that. We'll need gust of wind, pass wall, daylight. I already have one disintegrate, one pass wall. You have cone of cold, gust of wind. I can do with an infusion, magic missile infusion. Though you said you had that daylight with an infusion, dispel magic. I have with staff. We're good on that. What else do we want? Do we have how many stuff? hours of the day is that to do all that stuff? That's all stuff that's already done. We had done that. I had done the two scrolls for last fight. Oh, okay. So you said the Wand of Disintegrate is 52,000, John? 
Uh, something like that. Six level one is fifty nine four. I assume everybody's chipping in for it. Chip in what I have left after the dex book. Sorry, can we uh, record how much we're chipping in as a group, like each individual? Because it's for this and the resurrection, right? Well, the resurrection would be a personal cost. The wand is a group cost. That's what I mean. We're prepaying the personal cost for the resurrection. There's I've four got, of us, right? got nine. Five, of us. five now, yeah. I've got 9,185 gold pieces that I can put towards the wand. So it's 11,880 each. Yeah. Plus somebody has to chip in for the rest of uh, Flynn's. Flynn's share. Put your gold total in the uh, roll 20 window so they can see it. As for the resurrection, if I die, I die. Hey, so do I. <laughs> I can justify chipping in for the wand because it's for ultimately the greater good coming out of my group, but I can't justify spending the money on the resurrection. Correct. So I'll cover uh, Flynn's gap. Thank you. Yeah, besides, if I was to cover all the resurrections, that'd be uh, two for sure. From and then, if I wanted Jax, but so if we die, we die in honor. Obviously, Abigail could die in the fight as well, but she can cast resurrection as well. Okay. Well, nobody else is sticking around? Or no one else is going to pay for a resurrection? I think you're the only one. Can still pay for one? I don't want to die. Yeah, Kasha is paying for the wand and for putting up the money for resurrection. So it's just five k, right, John? Yeah. How many charges did you say the wand of disintegrate has? Twenty. Yeah, freshly made wand is twenty. And it's cast at fifth level, right? Or made as fifth level? It's cast at the minimum level, which is eleventh. I don't think that makes any difference overall. I guess if you use it to attack someone, it would affect the DC. Okay. Now, we're going to do the legend lore. I guess I don't... Would that take us two days for that? Or just one day? I mean, I can make 15, 21 legend lures in a day. It's just the casting, the casting portion of the it actual, that takes yeah, up the casting, time. Yeah. Well, we get at least one, right? Uh, yeah. It's just the cost and the uh, the time involved.
Is Abigail an adult now? Yes, she is formally an adult now. You can talk about adult things around her. All right, who's giving her the birds and the bees talk? Wow, let's hope it's not Flynn. Sorry, what? The emergency resurrection bolt. See, I think if I can just sneak through the castle with a 52, I'll be fine. What was that? There was also that ethereal spell, right? Ethereal jump. Oh, hey, question, John. Would do you would uh the bl would blink work? Not or not blink. Um, yeah, blink work in the castle. I doubt. It. No. No astral travel works in the castle. Um, pause question is about ethereal jaunt. It goes in through a different uh, level, which I think bypasses the uh, the planar barrier. It would be like if we could somehow all turn ethereal and run away when we have to run away. That'd be great. But I don't. This is a seventh level spell that's personal. So I don't think that's going to work. Unless we plane shift, but there's probably locks against plane shifting. Plane shift is the same. You have to go through the astral plane. Isn't there a spell called Etherealness? I believe so. That's ninth level. Good lord. You and one other touched creature per three levels. Yeah, the ethereal plane allows you to bypass most of the barriers in the game, so I think that's why it's so ridiculously high level. Well, I'll make myself a scroll of ethereal jaunt. That sounds like a good idea to have. The, let's say I got a wand of etherealness made, and I decided to use it. It's a ninth level spell. Would I even be able to use it? And if, if I, I can use, use it, what's the penalty? Um, I don't think there's any penalty for a wand other than the cost. And finding a wand of that magnitude. Um, that would be a 200,000 gold piece wand. Oh, we can't afford it then. The Dark Force game can. Yeah, you should go ask the evil guys of the Linja 200 grand. <laughs> and all the evil guys would probably be sent here to, you know, murder us. Yeah, probably pretty soon that'll be uh, an issue. Um, the other issue with a ninth level wand is finding someone who has already made one. Because you guys can't wait around for it. Wand of Miracles? Yeah, well, that would be the same price. Ninth level spell is a ninth level spell. A ring of wishes with one wish left? Yeah, that would work. Do we still have a ring of wishes? Or do um, we use the... I think you used all of your wishes. You wished for a portable hole and to escape twice. Yeah. We've used our wishes. Womp womp. Wishes are 50k each, but uh, if you want to drop that kind of money, you could go and find a ring of wishes. Ring of Wishes to cast Etherealness to get out of a, a jam. I don't think you can cast Etherealness with the Ring of Wishes because you have to cast an 8th level or lower spell. But we could use it to bypass a teleport block, couldn't we? Um, possibly. Um, there would be some adjudication in that because the only way to bypass the block would be with an Ethereal or Shadow-based spell. 
and you would have to find a way around that. Like you could easily cast Ethereal Jaunt with a uh, wish, but that would only include one of you. So, I mean, Akasha could take Ethereal Jaunt at this level um, as her power, but I didn't want to because in a few levels she'll be able to turn to incorporeal at will, basically. So is it really something we really want for this level, or is there another way around that? From a you-get-to-pick-one-power point of view, no, it probably is not. Um, it would definitely be handy as an escape route from here, but the real question is Abigail. Like, what are you doing with her while you assault the, the castle? Abigail not coming to the castle? Well, if you bring Abigail to the castle, are you leaving her behind when you ethereal away? Well, the idea is that we would try to get use a form of it that would hit multiple creatures. I'm rereading this one. No, I don't know. Shadow works too. Um, yeah, there are some shadow uh, magics that work. Like Shadow Walk? Um, it looks like it might have a bit of a random aspect to it. But overall, um, it looks like Shadow Walk might work. Um, it wouldn't get you through the uh, wall of force or the uh, uh, prismatic wall, but everything else it would bypass. But assuming we'd already dealt with all those as an escape method, would we be able to go out the same way, potentially, potentially. out of Shadow Walk? Uh, Shadow Walk seems like it would be an excellent escape plan, yes. Great, I can make that super easy. Um, but I think you need to be in shadows to do that. Must be in an area of shadowy illumination. I mean, can someone cast a dark darkness spell? Well, the entire palace is magically lit, so it would have to be high level darkness. But other than that, uh, yes. Does anyone know a high-level darkness spell? If um, absolutely necessary, Akasha could do it, but that's using one of her, like, seven soul melts a day, so if you guys have a better method. Do we have an idea of how high level we need? Well, you don't know exactly what the light conditions are inside. Um, there is no obvious source of light in the palace. Um, I don't know. Did you do a legend lore on any aspect of the palace? Or is this all intel? I'm pretty sure the stuff that Paw knows is a result of the f legend lore on the mask. Legend lore on the mask. Um, Darkwell can tell you that they the whole palace is magically lit. Um, unless you have some way of determining what the source of the light is, uh, it's hard to determine what it is. You would have to guess that it would be at least uh, continual light, not continual light, uh, daylight, which is a third level spell. So you would need a fourth level spell to overcome that.
Gotcha. I mean, I can do a fourth level darkness. That's not a problem. What would you use as a fourth level darkness? The spell darkness cast at as if it was a fourth level. How would you make it a fourth level spell? You're right. Wrong edition. Sorry. You're thinking fifth edition. Yeah. Um, deeper darkness is third. Um, utter darkness, I think, is eighth. Um, the only other one I can think of is damning darkness, and you probably don't want to stand in that. Although for one round, it's not the end of the world. So assuming that it is effectively uh, the daylight spell and you can create a pocket within that to cast your shadow walk, you have a fairly effective escape rep. How hard is it to cast shadow walk? It's a fifth level spell. I would just make a scroll. Okay, that might be something you want multiple uh, copies of. Anything else you want to do before you go in? Naomi, can you make a scroll of uh, Wall of Stone? I can definitely do that. I can do even better. I have it as an infusion, so I can just do it. Does anybody else have any other spells they think might be useful? Can you do psionic powers? That I can't do, unless it also exists as a spell. Okay. Well, I'm trying to think of ways that I could be useful without teleporting around everywhere. So I've been looking at a Dorge of Crystal Storm. But then, actually, she would do more damage through another method. Do we have the, um, we're going to have that spell that protects us from planar effects, right? Yeah, you should, yeah. Yeah, so I could probably take out that soul meld and replace it with something else. And then, let's say I do that. Sorry, I'm just thinking because it there's it's either that I try to pick up a supernatural ability that I can use with a. Um, Do we go back to your old stunning troll method? Well, I was thinking about that, but I don't think this DC scales well enough at this level. And even though she could hit like several things, it's probably we really only care about the Lady of Pain and. So I'm trying to look at things that aren't going to be safe DC based. So my current thought process is, is that we'll still stick with the dealing melee damage. We'll just be doing it with flurries and haste instead of teleporting all around. And then um, pick up some utility with like a soul schism um, so that we can have, if we can have something else that does damage or can do something else besides the basic ability then we should do that so 
I'm trying to decide what would be best for that, but it might be. It might just be that she picks up the um, like a range damage option in case she's stuck at range and can't hit something. So I think that's what I'll do. Um, I'm pretty sure this this works. Okay, um, Cassia, how much time do you need to finish all of the things that you are working on? So far, it's just one day for those two scrolls that I said I was going to make. Unless somebody else comes up with something else we want. Okay, so you guys have a full day to prep since you can't go in on the second day. Or technically, the first day. Uh, other than studying bark skin, I'm just going to be reading my book. So, you don't need to study bark skin. It's a player's handbook spell. Oh, okay. Never mind. I was going to be reading my book. Okay, well, if you guys are ready, then we can jump over to Darkwell. Can you guys see? Yes. Yep. Okay, there it goes. For some reason, it doesn't light the room until I move one of your tokens. Aren't these sentinels right here as well? Yep. Are they the Lord's sentinels? They are Darkwell's um, sentinels. He is a member of the uh, ruling council, so uh, he has guards assigned to him. Okay. Okay, so you guys are shown in without any fuss this time um, to uh, talk to the duke. And... Uh, he assumes you are ready to enter the palace. Yes, all preparations have been made. Yep. 